Continuing the British children's TV theme, I present a video exploring 1974's BBC series Bagpuss, created by Peter Furman and Oliver Postgate. The latter is also the inventor of the clangers, but isn't the inventor of the post or gates. Or is he? I'll just check. Yeah, he isn't. Every episode concerns an item being brought by a girl named Emily into her shop to be examined by Bagpuss and the other toys. The narration, also provided by Postgate, informs us the shop in question doesn't sell anything. So it isn't a shop then, it's… what's the opposite of a shop? Not a shop! Okay, the shop does fix damaged items, so people probably pay for the restoration. That makes sense. But wouldn't that still technically count as selling something? Because, you know what, never mind. It's a kid's show. This formula offers the familiar repetition children often require, while the variation made possible within this formula offers the excitement children also require. The series is flavoured by mesmerising stop motion animation, used to texture an endearing cast of characters who are given distinctive appearances and clear roles. Such as Professor Yaffle, the pretentious woodpecker bookend, or Madeline, the wise friendly ragdoll who serves as an accurate and sympathetic representation of ragdolls in media. No other ragdoll in fictional TV is anything like the ragdolls I've met. An alternative technique is used to animate one character, who is instead operated by a special mechanism, namely Gabriel the Toad, who is not an accurate representation of any of the toads I've met. They all play ukuleles as opposed to banjos. Visual variation was further provided by segments using detailed illustrations or fluid paper cutouts, which often enliven passages based on folk stories or fairy tales, subjects I've previously mentioned my enormous appreciation for. These tales also highlight important important morals. One of Bagpuss's greatest strengths is its music. All episodes feature at least one song embracing unique folk stylings that are often lively, playful, or sombre depending on the intention of the scene, often with poetic or amusingly peculiar lyrics and always passionately performed by the skilled musician Sandra Kerr who voices Madeleine, not Madeline as I called her earlier when I experienced the technical difficulty of being an idiot. Let's hope I also didn't mispronounce her actress's surname. If I did, I apologise. And John Faulkner, or the singing mice who I can only assume are voiced by actual mice or Oliver Postgate. Bagpuss is a wholesome, restful, whimsical series that, while clearly aimed at young audiences, may also appeal to nostalgic adults who'd perhaps better appreciate the care and detail the show exudes. I mean, I like it and I'm old enough to be one of the damaged antiques who ends up in the shop with Bagpuss. Some episodes are available on YouTube, others on Daily Motion. Although for a higher quality viewing experience, consider buying the series. Maybe after judging it based on some episodes available on the aforementioned mentioned platforms. Digital and physical copies are usually reasonably priced, at least in the UK. I impulse bought my copy years ago and I can honestly say it was easily worth 10 quid, which is lucky because it only cost 5 quid. Feel free to comment the names of any TV series you remember from childhood, however obscure. And as a reminder, any among you interested in British children's TV may also be interested in my playlist on the subject. You may also not be, but the option to find out exists thanks to the card linked above. Thank Thanks for watching and if I don't see you next time I'll assume you're madly searching to discover who really invented the post and gates. I saw a ship a sailing, a sailing on the sea, and oh but it was laden with pretty things for thee. There were comforts in the cabin, and apples in the hold. The decks were made of silk, and the masts were made of gold.